Welcome to Byte Further. In this video, you will learn why your iPhone 11 won't turn on and how to fix iPhone 11 not turning on issues. The steps here also can help fix an iPhone 11 Pro or an iPhone 11 Pro Max that randomly shuts off, shows a black screen and won't turn back on at all even after charging. Here are a few issues you might be faced with when your iPhone 11 won't turn on properly. 1. You're watching videos or playing games on your iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, or iPhone 11 Pro Max. All of a sudden, it shuts down by itself and gets stuck on a black screen. You press the power button, but it won't responding anything or turn back on. 2. Your iPhone 11 is stuck on the Apple logo screen for days and turn on past that screen to boot up to the home screen. 3. Your iPhone 11 is not turning on or charging. You've plugged it into the charger for more than an hour or even overnight. It doesn't charge or turn on as if it's just a dead battery. Or, it shows the red battery icon occasionally. Fourth, you wake up in the morning one day and iPhone 11 doesn't turn on without doing anything. And this happened just right after you did an iOS update. Fifth, your iPhone 11 fell mistakenly and the screen won't power on at all. So, why your iPhone 11 screen goes black and won't turn on at all? It could be related to a hardware issue or a software problem. Common hardware issues include physical damage and faulty repairment. If you can't power on iPhone 11 after dropping the phone, throwing it into the water, replacing the screen, and changing the battery, it could be a hardware issue. In these cases, you better take your phone to an Apple authorized repair center to examine the phone. Another reason for iPhone 11 not turning on black screen issue is a software related problem. For example, system errors, draining battery power, failed iOS software firmware, and rogue apps all can prevent your iPhone 11 or iPhone Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max from turning on correctly. To fix up these software problems, we'll introduce a few solutions to help turn your unresponsive phone back on. All these fixes are free and you can do them on your own. Here's how to fix an iPhone 11 that won't turn on at all. The first method is to charge the phone for more than 30 minutes. This is the most common method when your iPhone 11 suddenly powers off and won't turn back on because the battery might be draining out of power. Grab a USB cable and a charger that came with your iPhone 11 or the ones that are certified by Apple. Then, plug your unresponsive device into a wall power or a power bank with enough power instead of a computer USB port. To make sure that your iPhone 11 has enough power to turn on, let your device charge for more than 30 minutes. Normally. The not turning on black screen should pop up a red battery charging icon along with the charging symbol if everything goes well, your iPhone 11 will restart and power on automatically after 30 minute charging. The second method is to force restart iPhone 11. What if your iPhone 11 is charging but not turning on itself? Or, what to do if your iPhone 11 won't turn on or charge and stays black when plugging into power? The next thing you should try is to force your device to turn on. As long as your device has enough power, doing a force restart helps wake up the not responding black screen and power it back on easily. Keep your phone connected to the charger and here's what you need to do. Press the volume up button once. Press the volume down button once. Press the side button on the right and hold it for 10 to 20 seconds until you see the Apple logo on the black screen. There is it. Let go of the side button. See, your iPhone 11 turns on successfully now. Swipe up the screen and it can respond to your touch normally. The third method is to update your device. If your iPhone 11 still won't turn on after force restart and is still not responding, the next solution is to update the iOS software. Here's what you need to do. Get a computer and download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. It can be used to download and install the latest iOS firmware to turn on your iPhone 11. Next, connect your device to the computer via USB cable and open iTunes or Finder. Then, put your iPhone 11 into recovery mode. This technique helps the device contact iTunes or Finder and do an update. The steps are the same for iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 Pro Max that can't turn on. This is easy to do and you won't lose anything in this step. Press the volume up button once. Press the volume down button once. And then hold down the side button for 20 to 30 seconds. Don't let the side button go even when you see the Apple logo. Still, hold it. When you see the recovery mode screen, let go of the side button. That is a screen displaying a cable pointing to the computer. Now, on your computer, iTunes or Finder will quickly detect your device and pops up a dialog box. 
OK, just like this. It's asking you if you need to update or restore the device. Choose the Update button. Complete the on-screen steps and it'll download the latest iOS software firmware into your iPhone 11 and let it turn back on. Wait patiently because it might take a few hours to finish depending on your internet speed. OK, it's done and your iPhone 11 is restarting and turning on. A few seconds later, your iPhone 11 will successfully boot up into the lock screen or home screen. If you forgot the iPhone lock screen passcode and it shows iPhone unavailable screen after the update, click the card in the top right corner to see how to fix it. The last method is to factory reset iPhone 11. If iPhone 11 won't turn on after the update, you'll have to factory reset the device. Keep your iPhone 11 connected to iTunes or Finder and then enter recovery mode again. Press the volume up button once. Press the volume down button once. And then hold down the side button for 20 to 30 seconds until you see the recovery mode screen. In iTunes or Finder popping up message box, choose restore. Note that it'll clear away everything on your phone and bring it back to factory settings. If you've backed up the content before, you can get data back after the restore. Now, click restore and complete the on-screen steps. It'll then completely reset your iPhone 11 and turn it back on the hello screen. That's all how to fix iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, or iPhone 11 Pro Max not turning on or responding issues. Hope this video can help you power up the black screen and turn on the unresponsive device. If it does, please give it a thumbs up and share it via Facebook, Twitter, and so on to help others in need. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll reply ASAP. To learn more tech tips about iPhones, subscribe to the Byte Further channel. Now, you can click another video on the screen to keep watching.